All right, guys, Shotty T here with the Lions War video. Gonna have a little bit more focus today. Um, like I said, the last few wars this week has been kind of uncharacteristic. But the opponent we got today uh, looks like they're Alliance Quest based Alliance, but they're Platinum 3, but they got like a near perfect prestige. And of course, so we're the underdogs on paper, but it looks like they do have a lot of suicide rosters on paper. So we'll see if that comes into play when the fights actually start. Of course, Quake, Hercules, Ghost, or Band. And of course, you know, Torch is the global band. I'm bringing a different member to my attack team this time. I think it's the first time this season I'm bringing this person. And that Sigil Witch, that's going to be for one particular fight. They have good placement across the board. So, going to be some unique challenges here. So, uh, first fight here, we got Jabari Panther. Uh, really could go at it with either uh, champion, but the safer option will be Guardian, so we're going to use him for this fight. Um, as usual, we're just going to apply our small uh, boost just because we got him, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, let's go. First fight there, executed to perfection. Again, the last war, I didn't did not execute perfectly in any fight. Now this next fight is going to be a little tricky because um, I could use Guardian to guarantee parry, but there's Mystic Dispersion. Guard, I, could, I mean, the safest matchup is probably Abomination, but the problem is is that the reparry is the key. But if if he doesn't do the second medium, or if he decides to do the heavy attack then that's unstoppable so it's gonna be a tricky fight so i'm just gonna slow play this and keep it simple i'm um, just gonna make sure to be aware of the falter meter and if we can parry him we'll take advantage of those opportunities when they do happen so here we go and there'll be a lot of intercepts too can. And he had suicide. Let's knock him down again with a little chance. Now we get a chance. Oh, this fight is going perfect. Fight is going perfect. I mean, that fight, I mean, he, he could not have scripted a better first two fights. Uh, first of all, I got did RNG, but um, yeah. So we got another, we got one of our team members taking this fight, even though I bum can handle it, but again, we'll let him get it. And then we brought Sigil for the very next fight, but I believe it has suicide, so the degree of difficulty won't be as hard. But trust me, guys, that is a good placement. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, these next two fights are probably the two fights of the war. Um, these fights, I don't have the most ideal counters. Well, I mean, Sigil Witch is pretty good. Let me see if I'm still boosted. 
I still got my boost active. So I'm gonna try it again. The theme of this is to keep it simple. So we're just gonna parry, medium light, parry, medium light, SB1, nullifies buffs, build my power, and throw a big SP3. So that is the plan. So here we go, guys. But we'll, we'll have to throw a couple of SP1s to build up our uh, mystic things. So here we go. I got killed with that freaking SP1. Now we're in trouble, guys. I'm gonna have to throw this SP2, unfortunately. Might be enough. This is her only fight, so. Okay, perfect. That's all I cared about. That's all I cared about, guys. It does, it did, that fight did have suicides. So let's screenshot that real quick. That fight was, that was a polarizing fight there. Now this next fight would have been easier if Unstoppable Armor, if Slow Your Roll was still active, but it's not gonna be as simple. Um, so because of that, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and apply. The, we'll, I think we're gonna have to over, we're gonna override this boost because I wanna get this fight over with because this fight can go sideways pretty quickly if I'm not careful. So. Let's go ahead. We're gonna try to get some establish some space. And again, the fight may have suicides, but we'll find that out early on. Alright, let's see. Okay, suicides. Okay, let's just uh, dance around a little bit. suicides around here definitely makes the degree of difficulty for these fights much easier I must say um, but that other fight I, I had to do what I had to do to get to that point but definitely suicides and I have to remember that Ebony Ma fight I have to remember that suicide also but that's part two guys so we got the hard part of the war out of the way so this wrencher fight will be interesting but we will be taking the next three fights, and that'll be it for the war. Somebody else has called Sasquatch boss. But I'll be there if necessary. That'll do it, guys. Later. All right, we're back in action. No poker night tonight. Uh, we might resume that maybe next weekend or the weekend after. But uh, we got Kitty Pride here. I mean, we've seen her on this note quite a few times. Just have to be mindful of Mystic Dispersion. That's pretty much it. So let's get to it. I already got the intercept in there. I love it. active now. Another recoil defender. Gotta love it. Yes, 
to the time before that mystic timer reactivated. These fights are going pretty good so far, but let's screenshot that. Suicide roster. We already know our next opponent has suicides. Now, I, I did pull a five-star wrencher recently, so I do this just to make sure I recall what I need to be mindful of. I just have to make sure to knock him down uh, before his uh, charges go out of control. So that's all I'm doing here. And other than that, should be a pretty easy matchup. So let's go. Let's go ahead and knock him down. That's on our mind. Okay. That's a good interesting dynamic. Those intercepts. He has mad cow disease now. Ain't it me? Might be enough to kill him. It might be enough to kill him. Let's see. Let's see. See, 200 probably. Yeah, it's okay. We, ain't gotta, we don't have to worry about buffs. Chill out a little bit. Gain some health back.
little bit. Got some work to do. Got some work to do. It keeps backdropping. Do you guys see that? <laughs> oh, the computer likes to backdraft. Heavy. I mean, that's twice in that same fight. The computer can now backdraft heavy light counter. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Got a new level of AI, guys. All right, let's, let's hit, hop back in the saddle on that one. Unbelievable. Um, we'll use a team revive on this one. I mean, team potion, why not? We got back dropping AIs now. Let's give ourselves some health insurance. Jesus Christ. I mean, give you guys. I mean, let me go. Let me know if you guys seen that before. I mean, twice. I'm trying to hit into the opponent's block, and they backdraft light counter me. Okay, that's a new one there. That is a new one. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, now you want to. Now you want to cooperate. So I got the kill. Now I can just play like normal. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it, man. I get it. Yep, last fight he was backdrafting against me, which he shouldn't have been doing. You know, yeah, the AI's just being much more cooperative now. Of course they are. Never should have been that difficult of a fight. Yep, he Where's the backdraft now, buddy? Backdraft me before. Where's the backdraft? Where's the backdraft? Yeah, he don't want to do it now. Screw you. Screw you. Get out of here with that. Backdrafting AIs, man. Twice. Alright, it's another suicide roster, so. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Well, it might be our last fight for the war, but we still haven't gotten the right side of Boss Island figured out. But the thing is, I don't really have the ideal counters. I mean, maybe I could play around with the um, the Gore mini boss since he has suicides. So, maybe. But we got someone that has a better option. Um, I think he brought all his counters. That should be a better option. And, of course, Blade. I think he got the right side potentially covered with all three of those options. So, I should be done for the war, but if I'm called to fight another fight, then I'll be back in there. But yeah, uh, let's see where we are right now. We're down five to 13 and our BJ were down one to two. Thanks to my death there. But yeah, that was, I swear. I'm gonna go back and look at the replay uh, on that just to see how many times that happened in that first fight. But that'll do it, good night. All right, guys, we're at the end of war. NFL season's about to kick off officially um, in a couple of hours, so we're going to go ahead and mosey ourselves to the finish line. We did pretty well in our BG. Um, apparently, we set a, a record. We only died three times. Unfortunately, I died one of those times. And overall, we're down by 14, but seven of our deaths do not count, so we're actually down by 
seven, and the opponent still has nine defenders left, and not, and they're not easy by any means. Got our Mojo boss in BG1, and then BG2 got a lot of missed defenders. I only saw one science attacker, and that was a rank three eye bomb with half health. So maybe they'll use items, maybe they won't. And then there was a Nimrod over here on at the top that I didn't see an appropriate counter there. I mean, they still have a reserve person left to bring to war. So maybe that person will bring Nebula, but that could be another spot with some death. So it's not over by any means. So um, what I'll likely do, because like I said, it's kickoff in a couple of hours, maybe when it gets at halftime of the first football game, I'll let you guys know the results. But anyway, I'll see you guys soon.